Hello world, it's uh, Friday, it's the 8th of January 2016 and this is my forecast for Jupiter for the year 2016. There's a lot to cover so I'll try and be as precise as I can in as short a space as possible. Jupiter is not affecting the signs of Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius or Taurus in any specific direct challenging way over the coming year. Indeed, for many Taurians, especially those born from perhaps the 6th, 7th of May onwards, the first eight months of this year are looking good, as is the time for those Scorpios born from perhaps the 5th, 6th of November onwards. For Leos and Aquarius, those Leos and Aquarians born before the um, 12th, 13th of August and the 13th, 12th, 11th, 12th of February, you're going to find that the period from September through to December is looking much healthier than normal. Jupiter is primarily affecting the mutable signs until early September and then the cardinal signs. The mutable signs, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, Sagittarius. If you're born between the period of the uh, 6th of your month and the 15th of your month, then you're going to be finding that the first four months of this year are spent in retrospect, reassessment and re-evaluation of the events of 2015 and measuring whether you've gone over the top or whether you've undercut yourself. Uh, at the same time, the period of May, June, July will see a time of doing things properly and hopefully taking the quality, not the quantity. For those Virgos, Geminis, Pisces and Sagittarians born after the 14th of their respective month, then you're going to find that particularly the month of August and possibly early September as well is going to be particularly beneficial. There should be quite a time of growth and expansion. And again, as long as you don't go over the top and overreach, overstretch, overspend, you'll be fine. Quality, not quantity, works every time. From September onwards, from the second week of September onwards, it is the cardinal signs that are being affected by Jupiter. And again, there's two segments here. If you're one of the, if you're a cardinal sign born on or after the fifth of your respective month through to about the 14th of your month, then you're going to find that the last two months of the year, November and December, are going to be over-expansive, larger than life, but also potentially very growthful in terms of quality, not quantity. But if you're born at the start of a cardinal sign, i.e. if you're an Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, born before the 5th of your respective month, then you're going to find that the time of September and October is a particularly growthful and expansive time. For all of these signs, whenever I've used the words growthful and expansive, I do mean in a positive way, as in um, financial growth, beneficial growth, material, professional growth, relationship growth, but I could also mean in a way that is larger than life, overstated, overweight, overindulgent, over the top. Jupiter, remember, has no surface. You cannot land on it. It is gas. It is a hot gas giant. It promises more than it delivers. It brings joy and joviality and humour and optimism, but it also is larger than life and over the top. So in every case where Jupiter is hitting, take the quality, not the quantity, and you'll be glad you did. Jupiter is making a number of aspects to the outer planets. In fact, the only outer planet it's not aspecting is Uranus. And even then, Jupiter will oppose Uranus at the very end of the year. Jupiter will be squaring Saturn during April. And I suspect this will lead to uh, uh, financial and economic situations which will be out of balance. Because at the same time, Jupiter is opposing Neptune. So I do expect a lot of stuff around uh, recycling, environmentalism, as well as the more nebulous commodities such as gas and oil to be really out of balance with the norm of the world. Jupiter is trining Pluto for the first five or six months of the year and this should be helping bring a restructuring and a rebalancing of financial priorities but at the end of the year Jupiter will be squaring Pluto. So unless there is a willingness to embrace financial balance in the first half of the year, then the second half of the year is going to get decidedly 
out of balance. There is one really critical time with Jupiter this year, and this will be the last three or four days of August, the first couple of days of September, when Mercury will be standing still at the very end of Virgo prior to going retrograde, exactly conjunct Jupiter. So I do expect situations both in people's lives born at the very, very end of Gemini, Virgo, Pisces and Sag and the very, very start of Aries, Cancer, Capricorn, Libra, then at the end of August, start of September, things are going to be getting a little bit out of hand just for a few days. And in the world, I would expect this time to be completely over the top, out of proportion. So sensible people will not be buying into events that are happening at the end of August. For many people, I've already gone down with a number of my clients are saying, look, last few days of August, first couple of days of September, excellent time to be at a party, at a holiday camp, on a beach, enjoying yourself. Lousy time for taking anything else too seriously. I'll deal with that one closer to the time. I'll be glad to see the back of Jupiter and Virgo. Uh, Jupiter's not that comfortable there. Virgo is all about the pernickety, the fine detail, the fine tuning, the analysis, the functionality, words like effectiveness, efficiency and detail. Jupiter, because of its size, deals with the bigger picture, the overview, the large scale, the philosophy, the belief. It's not so concerned with detail. So once Jupiter moves into Libra, in early September, I suspect it'll be a lot happier. And from then on, we might see a degree more harmonious balance coming into the world in all areas, with the possible exception of the large-scale macroeconomic. This is a year where Jupiter hitting Saturn and Neptune and Pluto, it is going to affect the global economic system. And I do expect major corrections to be happening, but probably not until October time. Until that time, as far as Jupiter goes, Moderation, folks. Moderation. Quality, not quantity. Catch you later. Bye.